So this is the gateway to Brewster Hut. Uh, looks a little bit up, a little bit uphill. Okay, this is good. Well, it's so cloudy down the valley, but if you look higher up, we see the clear weather, see the glacier, the Brewster Glacier is right there, and I'm so happy to see it. Getting closer to the glacier, see the big blanket of ice coming down that cliff, wow, amazing, isn't it? And we're so lucky up here, the weather is so clear. And if you look down the valley, see. <laughs> but that's the way we have to go down. See this topography just rocks just rocks like plain rock like no greenery at all no such thing called greenery see wow and there is this lake this one is glacier fed lake this is fed by the glacier the glacier is less than 500 meters from here and other side also the cliff looks same just barren rock these are ice capped only a few hundred years ago these used to be ice capped mountains and now the ice is gone there's this glacier there it's called Brewster glacier but other than that look at this topography man So this is the Brewster Glacier and you can see it's caved. So under the glacier there's a gap and I'm trying to go in there. It's a little bit water drenching there. Looks like rainfall but hey man, I can see a, a glacier only once in my life, isn't it?
I'm under the glass here, under the Bristol glass here. It's amazing here. It's quite cold, but see, this is the ice cliff. This is the ice cliff. And then from the glass here, that is the view. If I go outside the glass here, that is the real world, okay? I'm going to the real world now. The lake as we walked up from Brewster Hut this is the lake we are just so close to the lake and you can see all the rocky mountains but these are the real rocky mountains and the, the glacier is there we we're just under the glacier before Thank you. 